How to apply to sell NFT crypto art on Super Rare, a beginner's tutorial. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can apply as a creator of NFT art on Super Rare so you could start selling your NFT art on that platform. So if you want to know more, then just keep on watching. So first, what is Super Rare? Super Rare is another one of those marketplaces where you could sell or collect NFT art out there. So it's like OpenSea or Rarible, but what sets it apart from other platforms out there, famous NFT marketplaces out there, is that Super Rare embodies its name. It prioritizes the authenticity or the originality and the value of the NFT art that creators are going to sell or collectors or traders are going to buy. So to know more about Super Rare, you could visit their Frequently Asked Questions page where you can know more about them and you can read up on this and study this before applying as a creator in Super Rare because it's really going to help in your application process if you do study on this. So from their homepage, you can see start collecting, but what we want to do right now is to become a creator. So here on their help desk, we see this article, how do I join as an artist? So this is what we're going to use as our basis in giving tips on how to apply as a creator on Super Rare. So it states here in this article that we can apply as a creator using this form right here and it leads us to a google form that we could fill out and you know submit our artist profile so it lists here several guidelines that we have to follow because they, they are pretty strict about this so it's important that we read the instructions carefully so again it's not really going to be that easy to apply as a creator in super rare unlike other platforms and super rare themselves stated that you might not get a response immediately after you have applied and submitted your artist's profile so just expect a delayed response because super rare really does prioritize the value of the creator so they evaluate every single one of them and since there's tons and tons of submissions just expect that they're not going to get to your submission immediately. So just be patient. But for now, what we're going to focus on is your application. So how you can curate the content that you're going to put in your application to increase the chances of you being a super rare creator. As for the guidelines, again, the artwork that you're going to submit must be original and created by you, and it must be a digital artwork. So just keep that in mind. Another requirement is that your digital artwork must not be available for purchase in other marketplaces out there since again, our word of the day is authenticity. Super Rare only wants to post artwork that is exclusive to their marketplace. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that the artwork that you're going to submit, you must consider it as some of your best work, something that you are really, really proud of because Super Rare really does value high quality artwork, so your artwork, your NFT art, must exude those qualities. And another thing is you must not post illegal stuff, so just keep that in mind. So let's go over some of the details that are needed. So we have the name, your portfolio, so it's important that you curate your portfolio beforehand, before submitting this. And you also include your Instagram and your Twitter. It's optional, but for more chances of getting accepted, just include the URL to your accounts. So additional websites are social links, like entire URLs. So one thing that you could put here is your Behance portfolio. So Behance actually introduced a new feature where you could add your NFC artworks on their website. So you could add this as your additional website or social link. And then we have your email and Super Rare also requires you to submit an application video like an introduction. So it doesn't have to be in English, it could be in any language that you are comfortable with. So you just introduce yourself and your art with this application video. And you also need to link a selection of your artworks. So three to five individual works and you have to use a Google Drive folder for that. So make sure that the folder is working and it is open or accessible for everyone to see. You must also state the story behind these pieces and why or what is the reason, why do you think they should be on Super Rare. So just answer those questions honestly and Super Rare is gonna, you know, feel that from your answers. 
And again, you must confirm that your artwork is truly yours and how did you hear about Super Rare. So just answer all of the questions and submit the form once you have done it all. And now I'm going to give you some more tips on how you can improve your application process here on Super Rare. So Super Rare actually has an article for this. So tips for getting accepted as an artist on Super Rare. So let's skim through all of this. So first, you must be able to prove your identity as an original artist. So again, our word of the day, authenticity because they really want to protect their collectors and ensuring that all the artworks that are tokenized on the platform were actually created by the artist themselves. So that is also the reason why they required a short video to the submission requirements to ensure this quality of creators. Another thing is that you should promote your art on social media. So if you have watched our previous videos, it is truly important that you engage with the NFT community through various social media platforms out there and just continually promote your NFT art through various social media platforms that are available. Because again, this shows that you as an artist, as an NFT creator, you make an effort in exposing your artwork to other people so other people could appreciate it because you're proud of it. And chances are NFT art collectors will see this effort that you put into your NFT art and that will increase the likeliness that they will buy or collect your NFT art. Another tip is to have an original or consistent style to your artwork. So this basically establishes the brand that you have. So for example, we have here one of the top selling artists on Super Rare, Hakatao. So as you can see, their artwork is really distinguished and they only have like one distinguished style to their art. So it's better that you have an original consistent style because that's going to increase the likelihood that you're going to be accepted as a super rare NFC creator. Fourth tip is scarcity, scarcity, scarcity. So super rare takes scarcity very seriously. So just remember quality over quantity. Super rare believes that collectors appreciate artists that prioritize high quality works rather than artists who compromise the quality of their works just so that they can put something out there in the marketplace. And again, you have to get involved with the NFT community through Twitter, Instagram, Discord. So just start conversations, initiate relationships with other creators and collectors. And this is going to expand your network in the NFT community. And lastly, please do not get discouraged when your application has not been accepted. Because again, Super Rare themselves have stated that they get so many submissions and to ensure the quality of the artists in their marketplace, in their platform, they go through every single one of those submissions. So just trust Super Rare and trust yourself that you did your best in applying as an artist in Super Rare. So that is the end of our video. I hope you guys have learned something from the tips that I gave you. Again, just look through Super Rare's websites and all their tips and follow every single step and every single guideline that they have provided you and just be patient with your application submission and yeah i hope to see you on the next video and thank you so much for watching